The Dream motors come in a few shapes and sizes, but the setup and control instructions are identical for all of them. Crucial to these instructions is the P1 button that can be found on every motor. The button is recessed into the motor to avoid accidental activation, but is easily accessed with a pen or something similar. As well as being utilised in the pairing process, the P1 button can also be used to control the blind when an external control device is unavailable, as well as engaging other functions, such as restoring factory settings. The Dream Multi-Channel Remote has also been upgraded and is capable of managing bi-directional motors or older unidirectional motors. The remote itself has 15 channels that can be used to operate blinds by themselves or in groups. In addition to these, there is also channel 0, which cannot be used to pair, program or otherwise adjust motors, but is reserved for operating all paired blinds simultaneously. The channels are displayed on the LCD screen, and users can cycle through them with the channel select buttons. Above these are the general control buttons up, stop and down, which are used to move and stop the motor as well as being utilised in more advanced functionality, like setting top and bottom limits. On the rear of the remote, beneath the cover, is the P2 button. There are actually two P2 buttons and both share some functionality, but we recommend always using the left button for the complete experience. In the event of a remote or any other external control device being unavailable, the P1 button on the motor itself will provide limited functionality. Pressing and releasing P1 will cycle through up, down and stop controls. Motors can be put into sleep mode to temporarily deactivate their radio functionality, allowing users to add multiple motors to a shared control panel without disruption. To engage sleep mode, press and continue to hold the P1 button on the motor for approximately 6 seconds, until the motor has jogged twice. Immediately release P1 to avoid activating other functions. To restore functionality, press P1 once. To switch the direction in which the motor rotates when pressing up or down on a remote, press and continue to hold the P1 button for approximately 10 seconds until the motor has jogged three times. Immediately release P1 to avoid restoring factory settings. To restore a motor to its factory settings, press the P1 button for approximately 14 seconds until the motor jogs four times to confirm. This will wipe all settings from the remote and unpair any external control devices. These settings cannot be recovered once the motor has been reset. As standard, all made-to-measure motorised blinds from DecorQuip will come pre-programmed with top and bottom limits and, if they are accompanied by a remote, will already be paired. If you still need to begin the process of pairing and programming a motor, watch the next video. Before starting the process of pairing a handheld remote to a dream motor, Select the channel to which it is to be paired. Channel 0 is reserved for simultaneously controlling all blinds paired to a remote and cannot be used for pairing, programming or other adjustments. These instructions apply to all bi-directional dream motors, including all roller, pleated and Roman motors, be they battery or mains powered. If using a battery powered motor, Ensure that it is sufficiently charged to complete the setup process. A full charge from empty will take approximately six hours. To pair a remote with a motor, press the P1 button on the motor until it jogs once, then release. Press and hold the stop button for approximately two to three seconds until the motor jogs twice to confirm. 
The motor and remote are now paired. After pairing the remote, test which direction the motor rotates by using the up or down buttons on the remote. If the direction needs to be reversed, press and hold the up and down buttons together for approximately 2 to 3 seconds until the motor jogs once to confirm. This process is only available before setting top and bottom limits, so confirm the configuration is correct before moving to the next step. From this point, the following instructions will be presented with the assumption that you are using the up and down buttons to run the shade up and down respectively. Until top and bottom limits are set, the motor will remain in its default jog mode to allow for precise positioning. To set a top limit, jog the shade to the desired top position. When it's in place, press the up and stop buttons for approximately two to three seconds until the motor jogs twice to confirm. To set a bottom limit, first jog the shade to the desired position. To speed up the process, you can hold the down button to run the shade at its regular speed. Press stop when it's close to its desired position and continue with jog mode to control with precision. When the shade is in place, press the down and stop buttons for approximately two to three seconds until the motor jogs twice to confirm. Once both limits have been set, the motor will automatically switch to continuous mode for standard operation. To switch from continuous mode to jog mode, press and hold the up and down buttons for approximately 5 seconds until the motor jogs once. Then press the stop button to switch. The motor will jog once to confirm. To switch back to continuous mode, press and hold the up and down buttons for approximately 5 seconds until the motor jogs once. Then press the stop button and the motor will jog twice to confirm. To adjust the motor speed, press the P2 button on the back of the remote once. The motor will jog once to confirm. Press the up or down button to increase or decrease the speed respectively. The motor will jog once to confirm. Then press the up or down button again. The motor will jog twice to confirm. There are three speed settings available. If the motor does not jog in response to these instructions, it has already reached its upper or lower speed setting. To set the favorite position, Run the shade to the desired position and stop it. Press P2 once until the motor jogs once. Press the stop button once and the motor will jog a second time. Press the stop button once more and the motor will jog twice to confirm. To send the shade to the favorite position, press and hold the stop button until the shade begins to move. To change the favorite position, you will first need to clear the existing favourite by following exactly the same steps P2 Stop Stop Then repeat again to set the new favourite position. To fine-tune a new top limit when one is already in place, press and hold the up and stop buttons for approximately 5 seconds until the motor jogs once. Jog the shade to the desired position, then to set the new top limit, press the up and stop buttons for approximately two seconds until the motor jogs twice to confirm. To fine tune a new bottom limit, press and hold the down and stop buttons for approximately five seconds until the motor jogs once. Jog the shade to the desired position, 
Then to set the new bottom limit, press and hold the down and stop buttons for approximately two seconds until the motor jogs twice to confirm. More than one remote can be paired to a motor. To add an extra remote, press the P2 button on a remote that is already paired with the motor until it jogs once. Press P2 again on the same remote and the motor will jog once again. Then press the stop button on the additional remote for approximately 2 to 3 seconds until the motor jogs twice to confirm.